Best, selling author Shanna Hogan died September 2nd at a hospital after a near, drowning incident a week earlier. Her light, though, will continue to shine on us all, said Christina Gibbons, Hogan's former teacher and close friend who spoke on behalf of the family, in a Facebook post on September 3rd. We are better people for having had her in our lives. Hogan, who was 37, leaves behind her 15 month old son Xander, husband Matt LaRussa, and countless family and friends. The Phoenix Fire Department reported on August 27 that a woman was in critical condition after her husband found her incapacitated in the pool in a residential neighborhood. Gibbons confirmed with the Arizona Republic, part of the USA Today network, that Hogan tripped and fell into the pool where she nearly drowned. Her husband arrived home minutes later and began performing CPR before Hogan was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Hogan died five days later, and her family made the decision to donate her organs. I wanted as much of her in this world as possible, and I can someday meet the recipients, LaRussa said in a quote provided by Gibbons. Hogan was a New York Times best-selling non-fiction author, an authority on several high-profile crime cases and a popular journalism instructor at her alma mater, Arizona State University. But loved ones also remembered her as a loving mother, playful friend, and profoundly humble powerhouse. This is a person who cared for everyone else and did whatever she could to make their lives better, whether it was companionship, guidance in a personal matter, mentoring, Gibbons told the Republic. The two met when Hogan was a 19 year old student in Gibbon's intermediate reporting class at ASU's Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communication. Gibbon said she was immediately struck by Hogan's writing ability and work ethic and, even after the course completed, remained her mentor as Hogan's career took off. Later, they became close friends. Gibbons remembered how Hogan would have vivid dreams, loved Harry Potter so much she designed her son's room around it, gave the best gifts, and was thinky a way Hogan referred to her own persistent whirlwind of a mind. Her closest family and friends will mourn her, Gibbon said, but so will the many other communities she touched as a teacher and writer. Ethan Millman, a 2019 graduate of the Cronkite School, similarly remembered Hogan as not only inspiring but also goofy and fun, often dressing up as characters for a mock press conference in her introductory reporting class. As a professor, she had really go the extra mile. Millman told the Republic. She wasn't afraid to do something that was a little more out there, and everyone loved it because it was so organic. Millman, who is now a staff music reporter for Rolling Stone magazine, said that Hogan deeply impacted his career by seeing him and his peers as a source of inspiration, seeing the potential they as young, aspiring journalists had to get seen in themselves. Hogan's literary manager, Charlene Martin, told the Republic that Hogan's humility was remarkable. Hogan received critical acclaim for her 2013 book Picture Perfect, The Jodi Arias Story, which recounted the shocking murder case of Travis Alexander, whom Arias was convicted of killing in his Mesa, Arizona, home. She was probably one of the most grateful authors I've ever represented, said Martin, who had worked with Hogan since before her first true, crime book published. Even as Hogan's work gained attention, publishing four books, optioning two of them to become movies, earning the title of Journalist of the Year from the Arizona Press Club, in 2010 and again in 2011 from the Arizona Newspaper Association, and appearing on The View, Dateline and The Dr. Ross Show. She remained thankful. Everything that was done for her, every step forward in her career, she had such gratitude for, Martin said. Her editor, Charles Spicer, said in an email shared by Martin, Shanna Hogan was an intrepid journalist, a talented writer, a natural podcast star, and an enthusiastic and loving first-time mother. Speaking as her editor, she was a dream to work with, the consummate professional who was also a kind and thoughtful person with a natural warmth and a delightful sense of fun. A GoFundMe page was started to raise money for Hogan's extensive medical bills and memorial costs and to support Hogan and Larus's son, Xander as he grows up. Reach the reporter at emily.wilder at arizonarepublic.com or on Twitter at vv1wilder.